Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we are looking at the Electoral College map and where everything stands as of right now. Make sure to go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this. And make sure to go ahead and donate to the GoFundMe in the description down below where we conduct national and state polls with SoCal Research. We are upping the methodology game to the next level and we need help fundraising for national and state polls. We are planning on collaborating with ReadyGo Politics and many other sponsors to get the most accurate data for you viewers. And back to the map. And so at this point, the safe Republican states would be the states of Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, the Dakotas, all of Nebraska, except the second congressional district. We also have Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, West Virginia, Missouri, and South Carolina in the safe Republican column. We also have Maine second in the safe Republican column and the state of Iowa, which voted for Donald Trump by just eight points last cycle is now voting for him by 8.3 percentage points. The state of Ohio is going to vote for him by 17.9 percentage points this cycle. Donald Trump is gaining with white working class voters, and these states are trending to the right of the nation by about a couple of points this cycle. And so that is why we are seeing these massive victories in these Rust Belt states for the former president. That concludes the safe Republican states for Donald Trump. For Harris, we have the state of California, which comes in at a 21 point victory. Harris wins Hawaii by 17 points. We have the states of Maryland and Massachusetts coming in at 26 points and 27 points. For Kamala Harris, the District of Columbia is a 78 point victory. And we have the state of Vermont coming in as a 29 point victory for Kamala Harris. That concludes her safe states. For the likely Republican states, we have the state of Wisconsin at nine points for Donald Trump. We have the state of Pennsylvania at nine points for Donald Trump. The state of Michigan at eight points for Donald Trump. The state of North Carolina coming in here at just nine points for the former president. The state of Georgia at seven points for Donald Trump. The state of Arizona at seven points for Trump. The state of Nevada at nine points for the former president, as well as the state of Florida coming in at 13 points for the former president, the state of Texas at 14 points for the former president, and the state of Alaska at 14 points for the former president, bringing him to a total of 312 electoral college votes. Texas and Florida have been moving to the right the past cycle or so because of Hispanic voters moving towards Republicans on the national level. And that's why you see these massive victories for Donald Trump in these two states. And as well for the swing states, Donald Trump in my model forecast is winning by four and a half points in the popular vote, which is the mirror inverse of Joe Biden's victory of four and a half points in the popular vote last cycle. And so if you have about a nine point shift in the electorate, all of the states that were remotely competitive are not going to be in that column anymore. The Sun Belt does technically trend to the left a little bit due to Harris's strength with white resist liberals and older black women. However, in the Rust Belt, Donald Trump is actually making gains here and trending them to the right even further than what they did in 2020 because of Harris's lack of appeal with white working class voters, which is going to make her struggle in the Rust Belt as a whole, as well as Alaska trending to the left. That is why it is not in the safe column as of right now, but it is approaching the safe column very, very soon in our forecast. Looking at the likely Democrat state, we have Washington at 11 points for Harris, Oregon at 9 points for Harris. We also have the state of Colorado at 8 points for Harris, the state of Illinois at 7 points for Harris. We have the state of Connecticut at 11 points for Harris, the state of Delaware at 10 points for Harris, and the state of Rhode Island coming in at 11 points for Harris, as well as the state of New York being a 12 point victory, which is very close to our latest poll out of the state of New York. We actually polled New York very recently and Harris was actually beating Trump there by about 11 points. And so that's even matching some of that data. Maine's first is also a 14 point victory for Kamala Harris as of right now, bringing her to just 177 electoral college votes with her safe and likely states. Funny enough, all of the likely states that you see on the map were actually all safe states except Colorado 
in the previous cycle indicating that the vice president is going to underperform her incumbent president's performance from the previous cycle going against the same candidate as last time looking at the lean republican states we currently have really none to be honest right now we basically have no lean republican states the only tilt Republican states on the map are the states of New Mexico and Minnesota, bringing Donald Trump to 327 electoral college votes. Minnesota is a 0.6 percentage point win, and the state of New Mexico is a 0.04 percentage point victory for the former president. For the other likely state that I forgot to mention, New Jersey is a seven point victory for Kamala Harris there. The polling has been competitive, but with Harris's honeymoon phase, that's why she is gaining in certain states that Joe Biden previously was winning by single digits, at least on the lower end. Virginia is a 2.8 percentage point victory for Kamala Harris. She has gained in the state since Biden was basically losing the state before by about a point or two, but Harris has kind of made gains in the state of Virginia. And now we see all of these other states like New Hampshire, you know, Nebraska's second and Maine are all tilt Democrat in this latest forecast, bringing Donald Trump to just 327 electoral college votes in my latest election forecast as of right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this. And make sure to go ahead and follow the Twitter and join the Discord server in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.